Hi guys, thanks for watching. Scott from Adrenaline Adventures here. I'm in the woods at my canvas cabin with my two dogs, Scout and Ridge, and today we're dropping off supplies. So the whole idea of this uh, canvas cabin for me is to come out here and have a place, a base camp, that I don't have to have uh, all my gear hauling uh, with me, whatever I'm doing, if I'm hiking or if I'm biking, um, heavy sort of things I wanna have set. It's gonna be a base camp with all my heavy supplies. Today, for example, I have a, a cast iron fry pan. Things like that where I don't wanna have to uh, carry stuff like that with me on the hike or the, uh, <laughs> again, the dogs with the tripod underneath, banging the tripod. Let's go, get out of there. Okay. So yeah, uh, if you saw the first video, you know how my dogs are, so you have to bear with me on this one. Um, so yeah, we're out here today, and we're dropping off supplies. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I brought, go over how the tent held up. Uh, it's been about a week since I've been out here, and uh, I know we got some heavy rain about five days ago. And the uh, tent, a canvas tent, has to be, um, some people call it seasoned. Uh, the manufacturer suggests that you, uh, you basically use wet it before it becomes waterproof. So um, another reason why I didn't sleep out in the first night, um, I looked at the forecast and knew we had some rain coming. So I set it up, um, had a test you know, fire in the stove, make sure that worked off, worked out well. Um, the thing about uh, anytime you have a new stove, I mean, uh, you know, there's gonna be some fumes and that sort of thing, right? So I wanted to have a few fires in there before I actually slept out in the tent. And we'll see how the tent held up with the heavy rain. I haven't been in it yet, I'm gonna open it up. And uh, I take the stove pipe down when I leave because I don't really have a rain cap on there that um, is gonna prevent the, the rain from coming down, right? And uh, I gotta work out something with the stove pipe. It, it sticks up pretty high, it's fairly sturdy, but I imagine in a strong wind it, uh, it might get knocked down. I don't want it uh, falling into the tent. So I'm out here uh, dropping off supplies. Um, I'm gonna show you what I got. Um, come with me, let's examine the tent, how it held up and uh, we'll go from there. All right, thanks for watching. So I use my deer cart and um, my backpack. My backpack has uh, the lighter things, sleeping bags and uh, pads and that sort of stuff. I'll go over that. Um, kitchen supplies and, and some things in here and my uh, canoe barrel. This is a uh, it's like 60 liter canoe barrel that is popular for canoe trips. I really don't use them on canoe trips anymore, but um, you can actually get a, a harness for these and use it as a backpack, and it's waterproof, and it's uh, it's great for carrying gear on canoe trips. So um, if you've done that sort of thing, you've, you'll recognize it from that. Uh, here in Canada, we sell these at uh, Mountain Equipment Co-op and, and other places, I think, uh, in the in states, REI carries them. And uh, some supplies in here, and this is my, uh, it's actually a, um, a dog crate um, floor and some plywood for, uh, I think I decided to put something underneath the, the legs of the wood stove. I'm not uh, comfortable with uh, leaving it on the floor. Um, even though there's uh, rubber caps at the bottom of the stove legs, uh, you know, I think over time they're gonna make their way and stretch through the uh, floor. So I don't really want that. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna set that up and we'll go through the gear. Let's check out the uh, tent, see how it held up. So here's a stove pipe flap. 
and it's still in place which is nice because it's held in by uh, velcro here so velcro did its job and you can see i had a pretty good fire in here before we left and i let it go for quite a while so the charring on the fabric is it's pretty minor so it looks like it held up pretty good so i'm happy about that Okay, everything's as I, as I left it. The, um, there is some water uh, puddled up in uh, the low spots of the tent floor. And I don't know, I wasn't in here when it was raining, so I would have been curious to see if it was just dripping through or, or actually how the water got to where it got to. Um, yeah, I'll show you, you can still see some of the puddles. And it was a few days ago, but I mean, um, like I said, that was to be expected. The tent is canvas, the manufacturer recommends that you saturate it with water and uh, let it dry out thoroughly so the fabric has uh, a way to bond together and become waterproof so i'm not disappointed or even surprised that there's water in here another reason why i didn't sleep here the first night um, but yeah i'm going to show you how i'm going to uh, set up my stove i have a base for it because the feet um, i'm just worried about them digging into the uh, the floor i don't want to poke holes in the floor and uh, I'm going to set up the, the tent and uh, get the stove up here. Get the stove pipe back up. I, I took the stove pipe down when I left. I don't have a rain cap for it. And I knew the rain was coming. So I didn't want uh, my stove to get all rusty. And uh, until I get a rain cap that I like, I'll just uh, take the stove pipe down when I leave and just leave it inside the tent here. So I don't see a problem with that. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it holds up. Um, I mean, if it's windy, I'm worried about the stovepipe. Uh, uh, I don't know how stable it'll be. So uh, on windy days, when I'm in here and the wind's blowing. Um, I mean, maybe I can take down a couple sections and uh, that might stabilize it. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. It'll be a trial and error sort of thing. But for now, uh, everything's, as I left it, I'm going to unload my gear and uh, set up a stove here and uh, go over what some of the things that I brought. So this here is a piece of plywood and this is the plastic bottom of a, uh, a dog crate that we don't use anymore, we've had for years. So this stuff literally has been sitting in my garage and uh, I thought it would be perfect to use as a base for my stove. So and I don't know how hot this actually gets where it will affect the wood or not. So right now we're going to start with this. I think the stove legs are high enough where the plywood's not going to get that warm. If it does, I'll uh, make some adjustments, but right now this is wide enough where the legs will fit on here. And I'm going to put the stove on top of here. So maybe you can see how the stove legs are starting to make their way in the ground soft under here. So I'm going to lift it up, slide this under here, take these off just to Make it easier to carry it. Set it a little bit. So yeah, lucky for me, the legs fit under there. And then we'll go. So that's going to disperse the weight on the floor, so I don't have to worry about the floor anymore. Um, you know, it still kind of wobbles a bit, I'm going to have to deal with that. But I think this is a big improvement. I can actually... I don't know if it's better to have this out. I trip over it, but it maybe catches some uh, ashes if it falls out. So right now, I'm going to move this. I'm going to move this back and have this. So that if this is open, you know, maybe the ashes can fall in there. Falling on wood's not a good thing, but I don't know. We'll be trying the trial and error.
I might trip over and I might find that annoying. So we'll see how, sometimes the only way to know what works is just to do it and see what happens. So, so far we got the stove set up and we're only gonna have room for one cot, which is fine. I have a, a doggy bed that we use for backpacking with the dogs. They can use that. We'll fit that in the corner. I can still get some storage room underneath there for uh, all my gear. Stoves there. Lots of room in this tent for me and the dogs, or two people for an adventure. Okay. Here's my canoe barrel. I'm gonna open it up here and show you what I have inside it. So nothing fancy, just some uh, some basic items that I don't want to have to think about carrying out here every time. It's actually getting warm in here. Um, yeah, just don't want to have to think about every time I come out. Um, a bulky item, but one of the handiest things you can have is a roll of uh, paper towels. So I can use these to um, get a quick fire going and just generally keep things clean and, and tidy. It's one of those things where uh, you know it takes up a lot of room in your pack, but a full roll. If I got the space, today is a supply um, run, and I'm going to have these out here for me. I'm going to put them here for now. I have a nice uh, cutting board, so I'm going to plan on doing some cooking out here. So just a uh, cutting board to have. My uh, trusty Yeti for uh, beverages. Next thing up is an important piece of gear that I do not want to have to carry back here time and time again is a cast iron fry pan. So the uh, stove is going to be great for cooking on. I'm going to have this and uh, I'm really excited about uh, cooking some meals out here on the uh, cast iron fry pan. And I also have, I know this is a little probably bigger than I need, this is my trusty Cabela's uh, coffee percolator and uh, I don't really drink this much coffee but it's going to be nice to have out here and again I had the room to bring it so I brought it today. Again I can make coffee right over the stove which is pretty cool. I have a plate. This is my standard titanium cook set that I bring on my normal camping trips but I'm going to have it out here just in case I need to boil some water and, uh, and that sort of thing. And I'll show you that later. And getting into boiling water, um, even though I plan on cooking some uh, some nice meals here, some steaks and some nice breakfasts, that sort of thing, um, it is a long ways out. And if I'm hiking or uh, biking out here, and for some reason something goes sideways, I like having some dehydrated meals. So I have a couple of dehydrated meals I'm going to keep here in case uh, in a pinch I get here and I'm really starving for some reason. Um, boil some water and, and have that. So that's a nice option. A little bit of cutlery, a little flipper for uh, some pancakes. And just since I had it, fine with the wood stove if you uh, if you can, if you have the option of having some newspaper. Um, quick little uh, newspaper fire inside the wood stove really gets the draft working properly and gets your uh, smoke going up and out of the stove pipe. So um, because I'm carrying gear, I'm going to have some of this and I'm going to store this stuff in the uh, blue barrel when I'm away. So I don't have to worry about, uh, I don't know if mice can get in here or not, but I imagine they can. So I don't want my uh, dehydrated meals getting ripped open by mice and that sort of stuff. So all this, uh, any, anything food related will be in the blue barrels. And that's another beautiful thing about these things. They're not bear proof, but um, you know, they're uh, mice proof anyways. So that's basically the gear I have. I'm going to show you my uh, sleep set. I have the, uh, I moved the cot out of the tent just for now while I can uh, film this. And I'll get that back in here and show you um, what I got for myself and what I got for the dogs. Okay, now I'll go through what I have in my backpack. Um, it's not completely loaded up. I just got some sleeping gear and I'll show you what I have for myself and for the dogs. So on the side of it, I got my Agua Canyon Boreal 21 saw. I always keep this thing, it's a pretty common saw now for camping. I mean, it's just a lot of people have it and uh, quite frankly, it's, uh, it's an awesome saw and that's why it's so popular. And 
my trusty uh, Grandson Brook hatchet. Um, this thing here really is, if I had one thing to really take on a trip, um, where I camp, there's lots of firewood. You usually don't have to uh, be splitting large logs sort of thing. And um, yeah, this even replaces my uh, hunting knife really. But uh, yeah, great, uh, great hatchet. Always, uh, always have it with me. So, but in my bag, I have sleeping bags. I don't have my expensive uh, down sleeping bag. I don't want to leave. There's one thing that I'm worried about disappearing. It's um, it's that sleeping bag. My um, Mountain Hardware Phantom down sleeping bag. It's uh, it's pretty expensive, so I'm not comfortable leaving it out here. Um, like I said, I'm, I don't think anything would happen out here. I don't think anyone's going to steal my tent or my stove, but it could happen. But man, I, I don't want to lose my sleeping bag. And quite frankly, I don't think they make that one anymore, or they've upgraded it or changed it, whatever. But I love that sleeping bag. So um, this is a zero degree Celsius um, sleeping bag. It's a hot core, um, synthetic insulation, and uh, it'll be more than enough to uh, keep me warm out here, especially obviously with the fire going right. So um, just something to sleep in. For the dogs, this is a, a roughware setup that I've used. Um, for the dogs in the past, with, uh, if you happen to see my uh, How to Camp with the Dog, me and Scout went to Killarney and uh, we hiked up to um, Silver Peak, did some canoeing. This is what uh, Scout was carrying in her pack. There's a sleeping bag and a pad in here. And uh, there we go. So here's the sleeping pad. Folds up, so that's the size of it. I don't know if you can see that or not. But um, so that's the size of it. And the rest here is the sleeping bag. So she curls up. She curled up in there really nice. And um, realistically, I don't know if I have both of them out here with me or not. When the time comes, Ridge is more of a uh, a biker. So when I come biking, realistically, I don't know if Scout um, will be coming with me. It'll probably just be Ridge. So if it's just Ridge, he can sleep in here. If there's two of them. More than likely, Scout will climb up on the cot with me. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but you'll have to watch and see how it goes. So, uh, anyways, that's the sleeping bag for them. The mat. This is my uh, backpack, by the way. I love this pack. It's a uh, Arc'teryx uh, Bora AR50. So it's a 50 liter pack. And since we're talking about it, what I absolutely love about it is the um, the hip belt rotates and it slides up and down so I use this sleep I use this pack for um, technical hiking and it really um, it just really moves with your back when you're hiking over hills and, and, and uh, rocky up and downs and that sort of thing so it's the best pack I've ever uh, come across where as far as comfort wise that goes a um, little pricey but it's um, you know you get what you pay for sometimes in this case uh, I believe that rings true so it's a, it's a great pack scouter stay there um, yeah also uh, my Thermarest little z light seat pad. I always have this with me. This is not the full sleeping mat. This is just the pad that you see in my trips. Ridgie, watch out, buddy. This is, Scout, stay there, stay, stay, guys. Get out, 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 out. So yeah, this is just a, uh, a kneeling down, that sort of thing. And um, I don't know why I didn't take this. This is a Seated Summit pillow. Um, I use this on all my trips. It's, it's awesome. To be honest with you, I, I don't really necessarily have to leave this here. I can throw this in my pack uh, when I'm coming, so really, it's nothing. But I wanted to show you some of the things I would have. And my, um, yeah, Exped Sinmat. It's a 9LW. This is an older one. I think they've updated it. Um, but the thing is, I'm going to be sleeping on the cot, and an air mattress is one thing, but this thing has actually um, insulation. So it actually has an R factor of, uh, R value of 6. Um, because if you have a down sleeping bag and you're sleep, sleeping on a cot, all the down underneath you compresses and the cold air underneath you is going to make you cold, right? So you still need uh, some sort of insulation between you and the, uh, the cot. So that's what I'm going to have this here. I'm going to set this up. And it's going to be nice. That'll be my setup. And a couple things in here I'm going to show you. And that'll be it. All right, guys. So this is all my gear. I got my... Uh, kitchen set pretty uh, comfortable with what I have there fry pan that sort of stuff my sleeping pads here um, so I'm gonna get this organized get a fire going might go for a walk with the dogs scout this area I might do some deer hunting out here 
And uh, oh yeah, I forgot one thing to show you. Um, keep in mind, I am Canadian. I'm not sure uh, what you thought I had in here, but uh, can't go camping without supplies, right? So these are the essential supplies for the canvas cabin. So thanks for watching. Cheers.